Right. So time can serve that same role if you had access to the past and to the future. That's pretty cool, man. Of course, we go higher this fifth dimension, six dimensions, this sort of thing. And uh, mathematically, you can calculate what all the properties are. And it's fascinating to watch. I, another quick one. You ready? Go ahead. Knots in strings only exist in three dimensions. Okay. In other words, in a fourth dimension, you hand them a knot in the fourth dimension and say, wait, just just pull the ends oh, right. and it unravels itself. That's the same thing as we three-dimensional people looking at two-dimensional people, and they have a string that just has this loop in it. One loop. Right. And they say, how do I untie this? I can't untie. You say, dude, pick up the two ends and stretch. They can't do that. Right. They can't do that. So knots are different things in higher dimensions. The way to do it is you have to make a knot out of a two-dimensional ribbon. And there are ways to do that, I think, and rather than just out of a string. So a lot of interesting things change and are mind-boggling for ascending to a higher dimension. Sweet. Uh, one last quick thing. Mm -hmm. Why does anyone want a flying car? So you can get up and over traffic. So you only really think about flying cars in cities where you're like plugged with traffic. And what a flying car gets you is another dimension of travel. True. You're no longer stuck in a one lane road because that's bad, all right? But even if you go two dimensions and you have multiple lanes, because now you're in a plane, that can get cloggy too. Right. So get a third dimension is wide open. But wait a minute, that means we already have flying cars. It's called the subway. Ooh. Instead of being in the air, it's underground, bypassing the traffic you're in. It still invoked the third dimension. Mm. But also, it means overpasses, where the freeway goes right through and the overpass goes over. That's a flying car right there. You invoked another dimension. You have a very low bar for what's called a flying car. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I think that's all the time I have.